Hi there, my name is Robert McClemon, and this video is for students in ES 101 at Wilfrid Laurier University, Introduction to Environmental Studies, and it's just a quick video to help students prepare for their final exam in the course, which is coming up this Saturday morning at 8.30. Now, if you don't know what Saturday I'm talking about, probably means you're watching this video too late. Now, the exam will have three sections on it. It's going to have a multiple choice uh, section with 15 questions, going to have a short answer question section. There will be six questions on it and you'll have to choose five of them and answer them in the exam book. And then half of the exam, 50% of the marks, will be assigned to a synthesis question in which you're given a real world scenario and you'll have to read a little passage about it. And then you're going to have to use concepts that you learned in the course in order to answer the question. And the question will simply be something like, what would you do in this situation? Now. Um, I just wanted to give you a few tips on how to prepare for the exam. Now, in theory, the course is, um, or the exam is cumulative uh, in the sense that, particularly for the synthesis question, the key concepts that we talked about in the first half of the course uh, before the midterm, you still need to keep those in mind for the final. Uh, but uh, in terms of the multiple choice and the short answer question, those questions will be based on content from the lectures and from the textbook that was covered in the second half of the course after the midterm exam. So that's something to help you uh, think about. The other thing is that when you're studying, don't get lost in the details. I'm not going to ask you a question like, for example, in one of my lectures I mentioned how uh, a recent survey found that 10% of people in the UK don't know that bacon comes from animals. They think it comes from uh, plant products. I'm not going to ask you that kind of question on the exam. I am going to ask you uh, broad questions, uh, key concepts that we covered, and some basic facts that you have to know in order to be successful in the course. Uh, so like I say, don't get go uh, bogged down in the details, but look at uh, your notes for some of the key themes that keep coming up time and time again in the textbook and in the lectures. Uh, and finally, I just wanted to say to you is that for many of you students in this course, this is your first semester, your first set of final exams. It's a stressful period, uh, so I want you to take good care of yourselves. Uh, eat well, get lots of rest as best you can, get some fresh air, healthy mind, healthy body, uh, and that will help you get through this exam period in one piece. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is this, is that I really enjoyed having you guys in the class. It's been a lot of fun teaching this course. Uh, I hope you do well on the rest of your exams, not just the one for this course. Uh, and I hope that I see you on campus, you say hello, uh, and if you like the course, Tell some friends, uh, and maybe we'll see them in the class next year. So thanks a lot. Good luck to all of you, and I'll see you around.